This week on Machinery Peak TV, Albert Steenblick's Dairy Retirement Auction was a whopper. There was massive interest in this 2023 John Deere 7R290 with only 50 hours. A teenager's dream tractor is still running decades later. And Pete takes us behind the gavel with auctioneer Sid Miedema. Your machinery is a serious investment and at the heart of every farming operation. Some call it a passion. We're Machinery Peak TV, and today we'll cover everything from auction roundups to the classics to the latest trends and technology. Machinery Peak, the most trusted name in farm equipment. Machinery Peak thanks these premier sponsors for their support. No other cornhead works like a Drago or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see how you can justify owning a Drago on ROI alone. Well folks, the little community of Pewamo, Michigan was established in 1859 and that's where my Machinery P truck has taken us today for Machinery P TV. We're here for the online farm retirement auction for Albert Steenblick, Steenblick Dairy. Uh, and I tell you, Albert has some incredible John Deere tractors, including a 7R290 with hardly any hours on it. Now before we get a closer look at this tractor, but first we got to go back to the studio and get the latest farm equipment news. All right, thanks Pete. I'm Clinton Griffiths. USDA says 3% of the nation's corn crop is now planted. That's 1% ahead of the five-year average. And just as those tractors start to roll, crude oil is near a six-month high. The growing tensions between Israel and Iran adding uncertainty to global markets. U.S. oil prices trading near that $85 per barrel mark this week. Financial services company Moody's believes surging oil prices are the number one threat to the economy right now. And economists say this could have repercussions for November elections, adding especially if gas prices spike above $4 a gallon for more than two or three months. Now, prices at the pump, they're near $3.60 a gallon on average, according to AAA this week. Diesel prices are now topping $4 a gallon. An update on the outbreak of avian influenza and dairy cattle now impacting at least six states. The American Association of Bovine Practitioners saying it's renaming the virus to bovine influenza A virus. The International Veterinary Group says while the virus is the same, type A, H5N1 found in birds, the impact of that virus on cattle is different. It does not cause the same high death rates it does in poultry, adding they hope the change helps the public distinguish between the virus impact on different animal species. And an update on the situation near the port of Baltimore. Crews are removing shipping containers from the Dolly almost two weeks after it slammed into the Francis Scott Key Bridge, causing that bridge to collapse. Now the U.S. Coast Guard says it is working to take enough weight off the ship so it can eventually be moved. Once enough debris is cleared, they can also reopen the channel to larger commercial ships, which they hope to do by the end of May. The port traditionally has been a significant handler of construction and agricultural equipment. That's it for news. Now let's check on some recent auctions from around the country. Now back to our host, Machinery Pete. Hey folks, you know the old saying, good things come in threes? Well, sometimes they also come in pairs. And today we got a pair of 22 model John Deere 8R410s. And I tell you what, it's gonna be interesting to watch these babies sell. Coming up Saturday, April 20th, the April Heavy Equipment Egg Consignment Auction by Bussy Brothers Auctioneers of Greenville, Ohio. Includes the Darren Smith Farm Retirement Line. Highlights include a 2022 Case Edge Tiger 370 with just 161 hours. A 2014 Case Edge Tiger 420 Road Track with 2,186 hours. 2019 John Deere 5090M with only 14 hours. Egg Coala 6690 with 2,427 hours. Aggie SDS 12 and John Deere R4045 Sprayers. Online bidding at Proxy Bid and Equipment Facts. 
At LST Group, we are committed to providing exceptional service across all modes of transportation. If you're shipping machinery across the state or across the country, trust LST Group to handle it with precision and care. Our expanded network ensures your shipments will reach their destinations swiftly and securely. Discover the LST Group difference and experience the epitome of excellence in transportation services. To request a quote, call 844-622-6209. Howdy folks, John Hengel with Purple Wave Auctions, Territory Manager in Minnesota. We're on site at T.A. Shifsky and Sons. We'd like to tell you about an auction coming up April 17th. There's gonna be hundreds of items. We're gonna have three open inspection dates, April 6th, April 10th, and April 13th from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. You're welcome to come out, walk through the equipment. You can visit all the items online at purplewave.com. Hey folks, Machine Repeat here. You've got to try this. The power of foam is the only way to clean and degrease your equipment. Simply foam it on, give the foam a few minutes to work, and power wash it off. Cuts grease and your wash time significantly. The foam won't harm electrical sensors or controls. It neutralizes and washes away farm chemicals and is safe to use on most surfaces. Call 888-996-7801 or go online to check out their dealer locator at powerofoam.com to find the power of foam near you. Hey folks, I'm here with owner Albert Steenblick with Steenblick Dairy here in Puamo, Michigan. And uh, by the way, how big is Puamo? Well, that's about 500 people, so nothing too too big. And that hasn't changed a whole lot over the 30 no, years you've I been here? No, I don't think so. Okay. There's a couple, a couple new houses built. But no, not, not many. Well, these beautiful pair of uh, 22 model 8R410s, Albert, uh, a little bit different setup. Can you tell us about them? Yeah, the one is set up with duals and row crop. We uh, we used to do an uh application after the corn was up. Okay. So we used that that tractor we used for that, and uh, and then it got used for if one of the other tra whatever broke down, then we could okay. put it in front of the wagons. And I think 389 hours is that? Yeah, right that's, on this that's one? right. Yeah. Okay. And the other. And uh, on this one we had a triple mower on it. We had about. Uh, about 1,800 acres of hay, so we had two of them. Okay. Because it's kind of nice if one breaks, you know, whatever. It's always so the one goes out of commission. It's kind of yep. nice. You can just keep going. Because one, mow? in a perfect world, you can just do it. One start at six and mow right. till 10 o'clock at night, right. or even have two guys on it. And but what mower did you have? I'll, I'll we had class mowers on it. Class mower. And there's okay. a class triple mower for sale too on the auction. On the auction, that's right. Four years old, yep. if I'm not mistaken. And this 8R410 has less hours, 212. 212, yeah. Okay. Uh, did you have a favorite of the two here, Albert? No, not really. I mean, they both got all everything on it. The signature cab, it's just, it's got the massage seats. They got just, you name it, it's got it on there. So. And most of your, uh, your John, your tractors here are kind of loaded up, I, mm -hmm. I hear. Okay. Yeah, they both, actually the, the one, the big ones are all the same. Okay. They're all, have the signature cab Probably just on it. a few more features on that first 8200 you bought, huh? No, just a few. Just a few. <laughs> <laughs> Air conditioned uh, seat, seat massage. Wow. No, Not, the old one didn't. But I thought the old one was quite an upgrade from what we used to have in the Netherlands. So that's, you know, that's. As long, again, as, you, if, as long as you make progress, it's all good. Progress yeah. is good. Yeah. And again, if folks missed our last show, you came to the US, you. you Kind of switched over to deer, but in the Netherlands you've been running. What did you say? Landini. Landini. Italian, yeah, with a Perkins engine. How many horse? How big of? Oh, anywhere from 45 to 85. Okay. What was that? How was the resale on those over there? Uh, yeah, not too bad. No, they were kind of cheaper, a little bit. Okay. I mean, a Fent, this D tractor or John yeah. Deere. I think Deere is not a most sold tractor in Holland. Too. Yeah. Yeah. But coming so. over here again, uh, you're working with Hudson. Yeah. You're John Deere dealer here yeah. on these tractors. They treated you right? Oh, yeah, I think so. Awesome. Yeah. I think we, uh, they've been really good to us, so. Well, the online buyers could come from anywhere on these things, Albert, and uh, the two lucky buyers, they're going to get, uh, they're each going to get a heck of a tractor, aren't they? I think so. Here are a few more items that sold on today's sale.
Mark your calendars, folks. Exciting sale event coming. Two-day Egg Pro Small Egg Turf and Construction Online Auction, Tuesday and Wednesday, April 23rd and 4th, with 500-plus lots selling from their Ohio, Tennessee, Georgia, and Florida locations. Sale by Merit Auctions. Tractors, skid steers, excavators, zero-turn mowers, riding lawn mowers, UTVs, and hundreds of attachments, plus more. Visit agprocompanies.com for auction info or proxybid.com for online bidding. Best way I've seen to fix faded paint? Dakota Shine. Made in South Dakota by Dakota Egg Innovations, a company with a 20-year history of working with top construction equipment manufacturers, now offering Dakota Shine to the farm community to help you keep your equipment looking like new and retain more value when it comes time to sell or trade. Key active ingredient from corn soy derivatives. Order online at dakotashine.com or visit your regional farm stores to pick up your Dakota Shine today. What's that piece of equipment worth? Check out Machine Repeat's auction prices for the answer. Free to view, updated daily, all types of equipment. Go to machinerepeat.com and click on the auction tab, then auction price data. Hey folks, Machine Repeat here with Kyle Berry with Deer and Kyle, what is your title again now? Yeah, I'm the manager of Precision Upgrades Marketing. Precision Upgrades, well, hey, I mean, gosh, that's right in the sweet spot. Tell us what's new with Precision Upgrades, Kyle. Yeah, so we have a new offering from Deer uh, with Precision Upgrades that you'll see right here behind me. Uh, we've taken three core components, really the foundation of your uh, Precision Ag journey, um, the G5 Plus display, an Ember and R-Series modem, and the Starfire 7000 receiver. Okay. And the customer can buy that for an upfront cost of two thousand dollars. Two thousand bucks. Well, uh, things are a little tighter these days, but gosh, two thousand bucks, getting a lot of bang for your buck there. Absolutely. Yeah, and it's really just a new option for customers uh, to buy something at a lower upfront cost, mm. and then they pay for what they need. So we have two licensing options on this um, okay. kit itself. You can get a basic license, which includes auto track, section control, and row sense. Okay. Uh, or if you need some more uh, autonomous type. Um, options you can move up to our advanced package and in that advanced package you get auto track turn automation which is your automated headland turns you get auto path where we actually map the where the plants are in the ground where okay. the planter went um, or you can get uh, auto track implement guidance and that's the ability for the tractor to steer off the guidance line okay. uh, for the planter to stay on that guidance line machine sync is another one. Uh, mm -hmm. Machine sync is more for a combine operation where if you're unloading on the go, the combine operator can actually yep. uh, control the, the tractor forwards and backwards or side to side to yep. make sure that they get that grain cart full, okay. fully loaded before sending it uh, to the trucks. Um, and then we also include SFRTK, which is our latest uh, satellite correction signal okay. um, on that Starfire 7000 receiver. Sounds like one heck of a upgrade there, I mean, for 2000 bucks. We know that not every customer is going to buy new machinery, so we want to give them the ability to get the most out of what they do have. Um, and with this package, it absolutely gives them the ability to do that. Got a 1967 1750. This is the first year over to come out with a 1750. I was a senior in high school and I ordered it in the fall in the winter dirt when I was in high school to get it in the spring. And the reason why I bought a 1750 is because my dad always had propane tractors. And I really wanted an 1850, but they had a pro propane motor. And if I'd have bought that 1850, he would have told me I needed to get propane on it. But since this only come in gasoline or diesel, he never said a word about being a diesel motor. When I was in, I think, the seventh grade, I was trying to find a way to make money. And we had a big hog house. And I can remember when I was little, we had hogs. And I tried to talk my dad and let me buy some feeder pigs. And he finally gave in and let me buy 50 feeder pigs. Well, I fed them out and I made $20 a head on them. And I give him $10 a pig for having use as a shed. And he thought I was all right. From then on, I was feeding out 100 head of pigs every three months. Well, I, 
had money saved up to buy a tractor. I paid cash for it. With a five bottom plow, I think it was around $7,500. Well, a plow, I bought a four row cultivator for the corn and beans and it run the hay bale, usually hay baled with this tractor. Remember when I bought it, my brother said in five years it won't be running. Well, <laughs> it's run a little more than five years. Folks, all the years of Machinery PTV, 11 seasons, we have not seen many tractors with 50 hours on it. Stick around, our feature item, the 23 model, John Deere 7R290. The only way I've seen to safely clean aluminum grain and stock trailers is Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner from Dakota Ag Innovations. With over 15 years of proven performance cleaning all types of aluminum, the results speak for themselves. Dirty, stained, and discolored aluminum trailers don't stand a chance against Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner. Safely improve the appearance of your aluminum trailers at home and make a statement with Bright Plus. Order today at TrailerCleaner.com or find Bright Plus Aluminum Cleaner at a farm store near you. Got equipment to sell privately but tired of scams and hassles? Visit MachineRepeat.com and click Sell Mine. MachineRepeat.com, the simple and secure way to buy and sell equipment online. Hey folks, I'm back with owner Albert Steenblick here talking about the feature tractor on the show today here. Mm -hmm. Albert, wow, what a beauty. A 2023. 7R290, this thing's got what, 50 hours on it? Something like that, not even 50, I think, so. Less just, than 50. Yeah, but that, like I said before, the, the way we did our roll, that's how that turned out to be. Okay, and you were work, you work with uh, Hudson? Hudson, yeah. Okay, which used to be Bader in this area? It used to be Bader's. Okay, yeah. so, so with the scale of your operation here, yeah, the, your equipment needs, gosh, uh, that roll you're talking about, uh, be pretty interesting every year the level of tractors you yeah I mean there's about 17 tractors the chopper and uh, okay both heads and now the 7 uh, 7R 290 here with only 50 hours was that just timing with the auction that it had such low hours or just no it's just because we had took us a little longer to get the hours on the old 290 so then once ah. we approached the hours then they picked it up and Brought the new one out. And how many, yeah, it was like 400, 800 hours on the other one? I think or 700 or 750, okay. something like that. And what did you. We like, did all the merging with it okay. and then we used it for the pump and manure, for the, okay. the manure pumps. And we used it for, uh, for the slingers. Okay. Now, Albert, you told me when you first came to the U.S. here back almost 30 years ago, I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you said the first tractor you bought was a John Deere 8200? Yeah. With a blade on it. With how much did that cost? Eighty-nine thousand bucks. And it probably felt like a king's ransom. Yeah, huh? you ain't kidding. I mean, that was quite a bit. We, we didn't have that much money when we came here. You know? But now, so running these babies, what do you think of these modern tractors? What I think, <laughs> it's unbelievable how much money they cost. But you get <laughs> yeah. a lot. But you can do it. See, yeah. I mean, this is already a bigger tractor than at eighty-two hundred. Yeah. Eighty-two hundred was only a two hundred horse engine. This is right. almost three hundred. Right. So you, you, your capacity, it's, it's expensive, but kind of yeah. This is how everything goes. I mean, right. and, everything's and, bigger, bigger. Yeah. Yeah. More efficient. More. Yeah. Lot, more. Yeah. And this particular model, the seven R two ninety, you ran one before. Uh, you found it to be a good uh, performer yeah, for you. I think so. You can see if if you buy them too small, then you're limited to to so many things you can do with it. It's nice to have all these, but you, 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 you like to do more things with it if you have to. Yeah. And I mean, really, when it, when it comes to, I mean, the, the next one is the 340. We can even put that in front of the manure tankers, you know, mm. if you had to. It okay. takes a little bit extra, but. You have a versatile lineup here. All right, folks, let's talk timing. Now, personally, I think timing is a highly undervalued force in life in general, everything we do. Uh, now in my world here, three plus decades, writing about fluctuations with used farm equipment values, of course, timing a huge factor, always has been, always will be. And to prove the point, let's focus in on Hagee STS-12 sprayers, and we'll look at a pair of them sold this year. Now first, I'm gonna show you a chart. Uh, now this is not a heart monitor chart, it's actually a supply and demand chart from our machinerypeat.com website. And this is looking at self-propelled sprayers 
supply and demand. So blue, that's the supply for sale on dealer lots. In orange, that's you guys shopping at machinerypeat.com, which we thank you for doing so. Now it goes back two years. So on the far left of the chart, that's uh, fall of 21. On the far right, that's today. Uh, now you can see early in 22 with the supply chain mess and uh, you know shortages on dealer lots, you can see the blue line of supply was starting to tank. At the same time, uh, buyer demand shopping for used sprayers was skyrocketing. And that was, uh, a lot of it was out of fear because uh, dealers didn't have an excess machine. Uh, we started to see a lot of farmers buying uh, a second sprayer just so they had one when they needed it. And you can see that orange demand line stayed very strong. In fact, if you look just past the midway part of the chart, January of 23, again, uh, demand was far outstripping supply. Now let's drop into an auction that we filmed for our Machinery PTV show right at that point, January 26th of 23 in Walnut, Illinois. Here's a picture <clears throat> of a 14 model Hagee STS-12 with 1,743 hours on it. So for 321,250 bucks, second highest auction price ever. Now, if we talk more recently, here's a picture uh, of a 17 model STS-12 with less hours, 1,582, that sold on an auction October 3rd in Harristown, Illinois, and it went for 279,000 bucks. It was three years newer, less hours, but brought less money. Now let's go back to my supply and demand chart and focus on the far right end supply and demand. Look at the blue, the supply is rising this fall while the demand is falling off. So not surprising that three year newer STS-12 Harristown, Illinois went for 279 versus 321 back in January. Like I said, timing is everything. Well, folks, cool on the show today to see that the American dream is still alive. If you roll up your sleeves and work hard enough, you can do amazing things. And I tell you what, the story on Albert Steenblick coming over from the Netherlands almost 30 years ago, building that amazing dairy operation in Pawamo, Michigan. Really fun to get up close with Albert and get the story there. And his tractors, very strong. Those pair of John Deere 8R 410s selling for just over 433,600 and change and 423,600 and change well above the current average auction price in 8 hour 410s. Tune in next week to Machinery PTV, folks. We'll have a lot more fun machinery to highlight for you. Machinery Pete thanks these premier sponsors for their support. No other cornhead works like a Drago or pays you back like one. Visit your Drago dealer and see how you can justify owning a Drago on ROI alone.